Hi everyone, it's Meg here. I'm here to talk to you about the Moretta Guyana riding boots, which Shires very kindly sent out to me a couple of months ago. Basically to take them on a bit of a test drive or test ride, if you like. So I've been really, 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 really happy with them so far. I must have had them probably nearly three months now. I've done absolutely everything you can imagine in them. I've galloped, I've competed, I've gone schooling, obviously gone eventing, and I just use them all, you know, around the yard. Um, I'm quite lazy about taking my boots off, so I've been mucking out in them, turning out in them, literally, you name it, I've done it. But yeah, so been very, very happy with how they've held up. You'll have seen, I've done a little clip of me cleaning them. Uh, they scrub up extremely well. So this morning I rode out in them. I'd also galloped and competed in them yesterday. So they were pretty covered in mud and sand and, you know, grease because the horses weren't bathed properly. So they're really, really easy to clean. I just use a little soft scrubbing brush, get all the mud off with a bit of warm water. And then I use the NAF leather balm just to wipe over them. There's actually no need for polish. They come up really, really well just with that. So that's good, they're nice and shiny. Also really useful to have boots that are easy to clean if you're having multiple rides at a show and you need to get them looking nice between rides. So that's always a big bonus for me when they smarten up so well. So yes, personally, I'm a big fan of long boots. I prefer them to boots and chaps. That's just me, really. Um, I'm a big fan of having laces at the front. I just think it makes them look prettier. And if I turn around this way, you'll see they're nice and smart. They get, there's a cut up the knee. So even when they do drop, because they will naturally drop, they are leather, you still don't look like you've got really, really short boots on. You'll see they've already dropped a bit around my ankle, but that's still nice and high, even when I stand up. So that's always something I look for in boots. Um, another thing I've been really, really impressed with is the fact they've got quite a thick, sturdy rubber heel, as you can see, and rubber sole, really, the whole thing. Um, I've got really flat feet, so I need quite a lot of support for my riding boots, and having a proper heel just means that when I'm wearing them all day, it makes them a lot more comfortable and a lot better for my feet, because I'm not splaying over the heel because it's actually got a sturdy block. So yeah, that's been very, very handy for me personally. Um, they've been super, super comfy to ride in. Like I said, I think I've said in one of the videos before, there wasn't that much of a bad break-in period. Sometimes that you get that awful like month with new riding boots where they're really uncomfortable to ride in, but actually these were pretty comfy from the get-go. Obviously the first few rides are a bit stiff, but I find if you ride in them and then clean them straight away with like a leather softener, they're actually pretty, pretty quick to soften. They've obviously got the little sticky outy rubber bit there for your spurs to go on. Uh, another thing I like about the design as well is that they've got these sort of panels of leather rather than just having one lot of leather around the whole boot. Again, I think it, make, it makes it look a bit more upmarket, it makes it more sort of delicate almost to have these different panels of leather. It just makes it more interesting to look at and smarter, I think. You've got the nice little logo there, the bit of leather that strips down and just the one popper at the top. So you don't have to be fiddling around with a muddy popper down there in the depths of winter. I didn't actually have too much of an issue getting them on at the start. Often you can really struggle getting them up your calf and these went on really easily and I thought, oh, is, does that mean they're going to go really loose around my calf? But they haven't. So I think they're just sort of, they've got a little bit of stretch because of the material inside. Then you've got that little zip protector there from your leg. This is the inside. You've just got this sort of almost spongy fabric in the middle or on the inside. Um, that makes it really, really comfortable. In the summer, it's been ventilating my leg, and then the winter, it's actually been keeping me quite cosy. So I've really enjoyed having that. I've had, I have one in these, so that's a good sign. And I've won dressage in these, so obviously the dressage judges think they're smart enough. Uh, they come in black and brown. 
I'm just going through a bit of a brown boot phase at the moment, but whatever takes your fancy. I think brown looks really nice with tweed jackets and like navy jackets, and maybe black if you've got like a grey or a black jacket. Um, yeah, I think that's everything to say about the design. I've already said about the sole, they're nice and grippy, you can see on the bottom, so I've not slid over in them. Okay, so I'm just quickly gonna go over pros and cons of these boots. I've really struggled to find cons. So we're gonna start with pros, cause that'll be easier. So number one pro for me is that they're super smart. It's a bit weird, but personally that, that comes before comfort for me. They've gotta look smart. They've gotta, you know, elongate my leg a bit. They've gotta have the laces and just overall, it's got to be a nice picture. I think it makes a big difference for dressage, so. But that's a big tick for me. I really like the look of them. They're quite delicate. So yeah, definite pro for that. Next one is obviously the comfort. Um, like I've already said, there wasn't a time that they were super uncomfortable. Obviously the first few rides they were loosening up, but actually as far as boots go, these have probably been one of the best for like how quick they were to wear in. Uh, I did wear them around the house a bit, but that was mainly just because I wanted to wear them and I opened them at night. <laughs> but yeah, riding, they actually loosened up very quickly. I was able to compete in them in the first week. So another massive pro. Easy to clean, big, big pro for me. Um, I often, if I'm riding more than one at a show, I give them a little wipe over. Once you've got all the mud off, you can literally just afford to wipe it over with the leather softener. You don't, you don't really need to put much time into cleaning them. So that's perfect for me because, you know, the easier, the better when you're doing a lot during the day, you don't want to be spending hours cleaning boots. So that's a big, big pro. The heel is a big pro for me. Like I said, I've got penguin feet. So having sturdy support down there, honestly makes such a big difference for me. Also having a nice heel when you're riding, is easier. <laughs> it's easier to ride if you've got a proper heel. So yeah, that's another pro for me. So yeah, I don't think there's really another boot out there for this kind of price bracket that you'll get the comfort and the look for. Like I said, there's a lot of cheap boots out there, but they're just not really, in my opinion, smart enough to go out and, you know, do a dressage test or whatever. So I just think they're a really happy medium, these. They're not gonna completely break the bank, but at the same time, they're really, really smart and you can do absolutely everything in them. In terms of cons, that's actually quite tricky. The one thing I would say for me personally is that because I've got very, very thin ankles, I've got chicken ankles, if you like, uh, they're slightly too big for me around the ankle. Uh, they, ha they are definitely better now they've given and softened a bit, but you can probably see just there, they are slightly too big. And I've had mum wear them and they're perfect on her, so it's, it is just a case of my small ankles. It's not stopped me from being able to do anything, but if I was looking for a con for me, that would be it. But it's not really a reflection on the boot, it's more a reflection of my abnormally small ankles. Um, other than that, I really can't think of any other cons for them. I've actually been so, so impressed. I'm very, very fussy with boots, but these have ticked the box for everything I've done with them. Like I said, I've done absolutely <laughs> everything. They have really been put to the test. And I've spent a lot of hours in them and not once have I sort of been uncomfortable in them. Thank you very, very much, Shires, for sending these out to me. I've absolutely loved testing them out and putting them through their paces. Overall, it is a big thumbs up. I've been extremely happy with them. They're very comfy and they look fantastic. What more can you ask for? That is all I look for in a boot. So yeah, over and out. Thanks for watching.